بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالہ رخان ہے and today with the first example so following the order of the book we have example 2.1 in which x of n is given and the impulse response is given so x of n is like this at 0 it's 0.5 and at 1 it's 2 fine so this is your x of n and uh, the impulse response that is h of n so that is given to be at 0 1 and 2 and the value is 1 fine and we are asked y of n so I told you in the previous video we can find the output of LTI system if the input and the impulse response is known with the help of the convolution. So we know that this would be summation k running from negative infinity to positive infinity x of k h of n minus k. So this is the basic thing. Fine. Now you know as this is involving a product. So for product we need the overlapping of the two signals. So have a look as this is non-zero only at 0 and 1 at only two points n equal to two points well this is not the basic method okay this is just a simpler for such sort of simple questions that you have it zero at these two points so you directly put the values how is that so 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 your y of n summation so you put uh, the value of uh, k equal to 0 and 1 right so you have x of 0 into h of n minus 0 so, so this is h of n right and then you have plus it with x of 1 times h of n minus 1 so this is your case now what do you do you put the values over here as well so which implies that your y of n y of n would be what x of 0 is 2 so it would be 2 times h of n plus x of 1 is what it's uh, uh, sorry x of 0 is 0 0.5 x of 0 is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 times h of n plus x of 1 is 2 2 times h of n minus 1 so this is our plotting this is our equation for y of n so 0 0.5 times h of n would be what so it would be like this h of n and 0.5 times so so the values would be 0 0.5 at 0 1 and 2 this would be n fine and similarly h of n minus 1 so which means you have to shift it one unit toward the right so 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 this is your if your nx is this is if your h of n minus 1 so which means this would be 1 at 1 2 and 3 and then you have 2 times h of n minus 1 so the amplitude is 1 so over here the amplitude would be 2 now what do you do you have to add these two together to get your final output so the final output which is y of n it is the addition of these two signals so, so I told you we have done the addition of signals. So what do you do? You add them at each and every point. So at 0, it's 0 0.5, that is 2. So you have a, uh, uh, this is 0, right? It's 0. So you have a 0 0.5 at 0. At 1, this is 0 0.5, this is 2. At 2, this is 0 0.5, this is 2. So at 1 and 2, you have 2.5 at 1 and 2 you have 2.5 at 3 this is 0 and this is 2 so at 3 you have the value of the output as 2 so this is your final output that is y of n so I told you this is not the basic method so what is the basic method this was the method number 1 fine the basic method is you involve some steps and what are the steps so I would tell you over here 
the steps are that you need x of k multiplied h of n minus k. So x of k which means that the independent variable has been changed. So you need the first step is replace n by k that is you have changed your independent variable. In the second step what do you do you then require h of n minus k so minus k means you time reverse it time reverse h of k. So you get h of minus k and now you shift h of minus k to h of n minus k. So these are the three steps and finally you multiply them okay the final step is that you multiply. So have a look in this case you, you, you replace n by k so you have your x of k x of k would be what? It would be 0 0.5 at 0 and it would be 2 at 1. This is your k axis. This is your x of k. Similarly, your h of k would be the same. Uh, so, let me wait. Let me draw it. You have h of k. This would be your k axis. 0, 1 and 2. This is your h of k. This is 1. Fine. Now you have to term reverse it, which means now you have h of h of minus k. So take the mirror image. So h of minus k would be what? It would be at 0 minus 1 and minus 2. Fine. And now you shift it. Now you shift it to h of n minus k. So h of n minus k. So this would be 1, 1, 1. The, the, the amplitude is 1. This point would be n. This would be n minus 1. This would be n minus 2. Now how is this? So let me tell you. If you are shifting the signal to the left, that if so you, well, wait, if, depending on the shift, you would have a left shift or a right shift, right? So this h of n minus k, this would shift, h of k would shift left if n is negative, right? And this would shift right. if n is positive. So, the basic concept is that this is something opposite to what we have seen for the basic previous time shifting. So, the, the different, the opposite is, why is this opposite? This is opposite because this over here is with respect to minus k. Over there, if we were doing time shifting, so that was with respect to plus t. Okay? If you have t plus t naught, so this means sh this is shifted left, shift left by t naught, right? And if you have a t minus t naught, so this means that this is shifted right by t naught. But have a look, in this case our independent variable is k and this is negative. So this, that is why this is the opposite case. So if you have it like this, if you have a minus of t plus t naught, so now this would be shift right. Now this would be shift right by t naught. And similarly, if you have a minus of t minus t naught, so this would be shifted left by t naught. And now I believe this is clear. So now we would be multiplying this and we would be seeing it for different cases. We need to find the overlap basically. So we need to find some particular values of n. So if n is less than 0, so we don't have x of k for less than 0 n. So which means that y of n would be 0. y of n 
would be 0 for n less than 0. This is the first case. This is simpler because x of k is 0 for that case, right? Now, now let's say for, 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 uh, for n equal to 0, for n equal to 0, so what would be your k? This would be 0, this would be minus 1, this would be minus 2. It would be h of minus k directly. You would have what? You would have an h of 0 minus k. So this would be at 0, minus 1 and minus 2. This is your k axis. So now you multiply these two. You multiply these two signals. The product is what? Y of n. So this would be what? 0. So this is 1, that is 0 0.5. So you have a 0 0.5. And then at 1 you have 2. And over here you have a 0. You have a 0. So y of 0 is 0 0.5, right? Yes. So this is y of 0, which is 0.5. Fine. You now, you now start to shift the impulses, okay, to find the the what? The what? The overlap. So, now this was for n equal to 0. For n equal to 1. So, now let me use different color. For n equal to 1. What do you have? Now, this would be 1. This would be 0. This would be minus 1. So, you have h of 1 minus k. h of 1 minus k. So basically this is minus k plus 1. So minus k plus 1 means what? Shift right by t naught. So shift right by 1. So, so now our case would be uh, this is 1, 1 right, 0 and minus 1. 1, 0 and minus 1. This is 1. Fine, this is your k axis. Now you have to multiply this this signal with x of k. So what do you have is y of n, this would be at 0, this is 0 0.5, this is 1. So this would give us 0 0.5, fine. At minus 1, that is 0, so you have a plus 0. And plus, at 1, that is 2, and this is 1, so you have a 2. So this implies that y of 1 is 2.5. Isn't it so? It is. Now, have a look again. Now for n equal to 1 is done. Now you have for n equal to 2. So I would do it with this color again. For n equal to 2. Now what do you have? You shift it by 2 units. So you, are h, you have h of 2 minus k. So this is your k axis. 2, 1 and 0. Now you would have it at 2. 1 and 0. This would be 1. Now you multiply this signal with your x of k. So which means that y of 2 would be what? So at 0 this is 1, this is 0 0.5. So you have a 0 0.5. At 1 this is 1 and this is uh, 2. So you have a 2. And then at 2 that is 0 and this is 1. So you have a 0 which means that uh, y of 2 is again 2.5. Fine. Shift it again. Shift it again. So y of 2 is done. Now for n equal to 3. Now what do you have? You have the impulse at h of 3 minus k. h of 3 minus k. So you, which means this is minus k plus 3. So minus k plus 3 means you shift right by t naught. So you shift this right by 3 units. So this would go to 3, 2 and 1. This would go to 3, 2 and 1. Fine, this is your k axis. 3, 2 and 1. So now have a look. You multiply this signal with this x of k. So what would be the answer? At 0, this is 0. Wait, y of 3. This is 0. And at 0, this is 0. So you have a 0 plus. Now at 1, this is 0 0.5, this is 1. So you have a 0.5. And then at 2, uh, 
sorry, uh, sorry, at 0 we have a 0, then at 1 we have a 2 and this is 1, so this is a 2, and then at 2 and 3 you have that 0, 0. So which means that y of 3 is 2. Is that fine? It should be, right? Now, now if you shift it, now if I shift it, so, so let's say I remove this. So what is the case? Now I shift it again. Now for n equal to 4, for n equal to 4, so which means now we shift it by 4 units. So now this would be located at 4, 3 and 2. 4, 3 and 2. This is your k axis. This will be your 4 minus k. Now you multiply this with your x of k. So have a look for y of 4. You have it at 0 and 1, so this is not present. So you have a 0 plus 0 plus 0. This implies y of 4 is 0. Similarly, if you shift it again, if you shift it again for n equal to 5, so again this would be the case. H of 5 minus k would be now located at 5, 4 and 3, 5. 4 and 3, the magnitude is 1, this is your k axis, now you multiply it again, you get a y of 5 equal to 0, which means now if I write it generally, so y of n, this would be equal to 0 for n greater than or equal to 4, so this is your final answer. Now if you plot it, if you plot it, so this is your n axis, this is your y of n. So have a look, it was 0 for n less than 0. So if this is your 0, so which means that this is 0 at minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, fine. At 0, this is 0 0.5. At 0, this is 0 0.5. At 1, at 1, this is 2.5. At 2, this is again 2.5. At 3, this is 2. And for n greater than or equal to 4, it's again 0. So that's all about it. Now if you check, so the previous example that over here, I've uh, the previous method that I've drawn over here with the red color, we had the same answer. So the basic method is this one. Fine, the basic method is this one. If you have simpler questions as this one, so you can do it with that method. So that's all about it. That's all about the first example. The steps you need to remember. You replace n by k, you time reverse, and you shift, and then you multiply. So shifting the impulse is the basic thing. That's all about today. That's all about this lecture. See you in the next lecture with more examples. Very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves. And everyone around you, goodbye.